What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be taking a look at BookBolt's new Book Scout tool for keyword research because it is an amazing tool. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to help me make passive income here online. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then check out that link down in the description below to go to the LCB Vault. Within here, I add brand new trainings every single week and everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So to do this, you are going to need a BookBolt account. If you don't have one, I'll leave a link down there in the description so you can go through and check it out. And if you do have one, I highly suggest checking out the Book Scout tool if you haven't already. So let's go straight over to BookBolt. Within BookBolt, it's going to be down here. It's going to see, going to see, it's not going to see. It's going to say Book Scout and it's going to bring up this page. Now with this, we put in the ASIN, which is the ISBN 10, I believe. You put that in here on any KDP book and it's going to give you so much data. The only thing that's annoying is that we only get 25 lookups a day, but I can live with that. So I've already gone and got an ASIN, so I'm going to show you exactly all the data that you get when using this tool. Now, when doing your research over on Amazon and you're trying to find best-selling books or trying to find niches, things like that, once you've found a book that you want to look up and have a look at their keywords and everything, you can come down to here. So if we go down to here, we want to make sure that it says independ independently published. This might be a little bit different right here because this one's by CreateSpace and CreateSpace is no longer around. But we want to take this number just here. So you simply copy that, go over to the Book Scout tool and plug it in just here and then click search. Now, if it's the first time of you doing a certain book, then it's going to take a while to um, get all that data. It can take a minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes as well. So just be patient. But once it's loaded, you're going to get all of this data. Now, I found that the older the book, then the better data you're going to get. So the more sales history that a book has with Amazon, then the better. So what does this tool actually pull up? So we get the product, which is just here. We get the title, which is just here. And we also get the description. So that's not really the cool stuff. The cool stuff is just here. So we're going to get keywords, rank, total items count, search volume and categories. Categories doesn't really matter too much because we know we want to rank and publish books. So how does Book Scout actually get all of this data? Well, I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that with these keywords, so all these different search terms, some of them are going to be pulled from the search bar. So if we do that and do that and do that, no, let's go one again. Let's do just coloring book. So it's going to pull up quite a lot of the auto suggestions as well, which are all here. And it's going to give you that data here as well. And then I think it takes it from the descriptions, similar books and things like that. And then the total rank is where that book, so where this book is actually ranked for a search term. So this right here is actually ranked fourth place for this first place for this and second place for this. So that data is really easy to get. The total item count, this is how many books are published 
for that search term. So if we take this and copy that, there should be 5,982. Now, this data is going to change a little bit because the data changes on Amazon every single hour. So let's go back over to here, plug that into there like that, click go. So we'll just give that a second. There's 6,000, so that's just a few off. That's the wrong tab. So it's only slightly off but it's still pretty spot on. And then the search volume. So I'm not too sure how they get the search volume. It's going to be a lot of data going back and forth from Amazon with the tool because Amazon does not actually give this data out to anyone. So don't take this as set in stone. Just use it as a good gauge to... um find books which are high demand and low competition. Now, the good thing about this, we can even change that. So if we click on that, it's going to sort it by the rank. So that one's ranked seventh for that place. If we do it the other way, it's going to go that way. And the same with the item counts as well. So why is this ill, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't get my words out. So why is this tool important? Well, we're going to see all these different search terms just here and we're going to be able to find search volume so we can find books which are high demand and low competition so this is an example of that apart from this title is a little bit weird so you wouldn't want to create a book around that but look so 19,700 monthly searches now remember this is just an estimate because Amazon doesn't give that search volume but look, only 488 searches over on Amazon. So let's actually go through these and see what we can find. See if we can find a good title or a good search term. So this is to do with fatty liver. I don't know why that's with this book. If we scroll down, let's just take a little look through. Can you find me? No, swear words, colouring book books for adults so 2000 monthly searches 5900 that is a little bit high adult swear word coloring boosts <laughs> boosts well there's 2000 monthly people searching that and 519 searches or should i say results so these two are looks like they're um not spelt properly and that's what people are actually searching so let's actually go through a little bit more so this one sloth coloring book swear words so with this one there's 1400 monthly searches uh yeah 1400 monthly searches from people and there's only 165 results so this is high demand low competition so if you were to create a sloth coloring book which has swear words then you could potentially do pretty well with that book so that's why i absolutely love this tool you can find a lot of great niches book titles search terms just by using this so here's another one a teacher swear word coloring book 600 monthly searches only 455 results so there's only 455 results for teacher swear word coloring books so you could go and make an absolute killing with that type of book and then if we scroll down a bit more we can see some more so nurse swear word coloring book looks like would be another pretty good niche to enter. So if you actually have Book Bolt, I suggest coming over, playing with the tool, finding books over on Amazon, coming here and actually plugging them into here, just there, and going through and finding a bunch of different keywords, and then just start putting them into a spreadsheet. So with me personally, I've already been doing this. I'm actually using a combination of tools. So I'm using BookBolt and another tool as well to get all my data and then I'm putting it into a spreadsheet. Now with what I'm doing here, this is all personally for me. We can see that I've got my keywords. I have a link 
to that search term over on Amazon, the total count, search volume, popularity, potential, and competition. Now, when it's green like this on the competition, it means that you could easily rank for that. And if you've got all green boxes just here, it means that it's a really great niche to go into. Now, with these keywords here, I am sharing them within the LCB vault. This week is all about um, coloring books. So all these just here is potential keywords and ideas that you could use for coloring books. Now, like I said, I am going to be sharing this within the LCB Vault spreadsheet this week. So this week I'm going to do a video all about these keywords and show you that as well. Previous week I did another bunch of keywords and the next few weeks coming up I'm going to be doing many more niches and finding a bunch of keywords like this for all of the students to use. So if you haven't already come and join the LCB Vault by clicking that link down in the description below. Now I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.